<laughs> it's Steve and Laura time. Let's go. Come on. Hey, Laura, ask pretty please. Mm. What you gonna talk? Mm. <laughs> pretty please, but she grown up. I said to kids, people all the time, but usually they were small children. I'm just saying. But they're fine. You begged me to change back into Steve Urkel. Facts. Well, that's true, but that's because Stefan was shallow and insincere. But mm. couldn't you create a better Stefan? <laughs> <laughs> Laura, stop using your womanly wiles on him. Stop doing that, girl. Stop it. Well, yeah, that's an interesting challenge. Of course, it would require delicate manipulation of infinitely minute strands of the act. <laughs> All you could do. Mm -hmm. You're such a smart scientist, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's such a... Look at Steve. Look at Steve. <laughs> Laura doesn't have to... Laura doesn't have to say much or get it right. She said you're a smart scientist, man. <laughs> I mean, that's a very general observation. <laughs> and then look at Steve. <laughs> New project. Oh, gosh. Cheese. Feast your peepers on this baby. <laughs> Someday you'll be able to light an entire city with a single wedge of free. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Steve's enjoying himself. Laura's not impressed again. Laura, remember, he's a good scientist, bad though, right? <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> See, he likes Stefan, and if you bring mm. him back, I'd be his girlfriend. Mm. But I'd be Stefan, so really, you'd be my girlfriend. Mm. Right. Oh, gotta, st gotta stop it right here. This, this is just for all the people. All the people in the world that sit up here and they say, Laura didn't like Steve, you know, um, until he, uh, until he turned into Stefan. The, the, the interaction they just had right here is, is an indication that who's Laura actually loves is Steve. So Laura just said, I'll be his girlfriend. And Steve said, well, that means you would actually be my girlfriend. Are we peeping game? Okay. And. Isn't that what you've always wanted? Mm. Oh, oh, Lord, don't do it. Oh. <laughs> Laura and Steve's kisses, look, they don't even need to be on the lips, okay? It's electricity, baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Some of the ways that Laura kisses Steve, even on the, key, on the cheek. If you look at it, they're somewhat passionate. Like, they're not just, they're not grandma kisses. You know what I'm saying? Look, you know, little smooch, you're supposed to get my little grandma a little kid. No, this is not a grandma kiss on the cheek. And, and this ain't the first one that she's done. You know what I'm saying? So you even see it a, a, a little bit, you know, there. But Laura, what we're, what we're seeing is Laura has to come to this herself. She has to recognize what, what love really is. Like I said, Laura need to get on her marriage at Blige. Real love. What, what, what? Hey, I'm talking about a real love. Steve is Laura's real love, but Laura is just going to have to go down her own avenue and her own lane to figure that out. And so in the meantime, we have to go through these type of situations with their others. Their others, Myra and, and Stefan are the others. You know what I'm saying? Like Shaq would say, I finally completed that elixir and I'm ready to turn it to Stefan. Mm. Well, of course, if now we're going to get time, we can always reschedule for tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> no, no, this is something else. Let's just point this out. In this place right now, for everybody, like she don't even care about Steve. It's because she loves Steve, and she's in a place of she's desperate. She really is what she is. Right? She's desperate because she loves this guy, and she loves the presentation of Stefan. Voila! Mix the two together, and Laura's head over heels. Mm, mm. Steve's upset. He said, doggone, huh? Okay. In a few moments, Steve Verbal will cease to exist. Mm -hmm. Well, don't you want to give me one last goodbye? Mm -hmm. Sure. Goodbye at last. See, Steve, look, you already got a kiss on the cheek. Now, if you were smart about it, so you would have tried to get a little smoochy smoochy. See, come on, Steve. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Steve. That didn't come out right. I really will miss you. And now what? Mm. I'll miss me too. Mm -hmm. I'll miss my styling, my needle suspender, mm -hmm. and my 
charming laugh. <laughs> <laughs> His uniqueness. That's what that, yeah, man. I mean, what, what, what would a world be like without Steve Urkel? Come on now. He brings such a uniqueness. Kyle leaving my glasses. Kyle never forget that first thing I got him. Mm -hmm. Kyle was the one happy six-month-old little boy. <laughs> <laughs> six months, but they had him in the. I hope they were not that big because they took up his whole face, his whole body. Kyle, no more Steve Urkel. Big man, done that. Time to move on. Mm. <laughs> this is the original Cool Juice. This is Cool Juice Booster. Mm. Now, look, together. this is what I want to point out again. Do you see? I'm just saying. Do 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 y'all see the the intel the how do you say it the awesomeness womanness that Laura is why why would she stoop herself this low to this dude got to pour chemicals into whatever it is to turn into something else you know what I'm saying this is too much this is doing the most right now and you gotta make something I like to call. You gotta do all this. Come on now. It's not that serious. Are you gonna drink that? Oh, man, man. With unsightly twitches and convulsions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. No. Enough of that. Not to mention painful rashes in private places. Thanks! Mm -hmm. Wow! What is. <laughs> right, Laura, right. What, what, why am I supposed to be impressed by this? <laughs> the UTC, the Urkel Transformation Chamber. Oh, how does it work? Ah, well, first, I pour Bossa in here. <laughs> you pull this lever, and every cell in my body is bombarded with Bossa. Mm. Okay, I just got another question. I know I, I got my church finger up again. I know I'm not supposed to ask these questions. I know, I'm not, I know I'm not supposed to ask ask them, but how does the clothes get off the hanger onto him? I'm just trying to figure. So this is more than just a transformation. This is like voila magic. <laughs> oh. oh, look at Steve. Steve's not ready. Look at him. Oh, he, he's, he's having doubts. He has doubts. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get in there, Steve, so those so those clothes can jump on you. And I'm I'm just asking logical questions. So where are the other clothes? You guys, this is the discovery right here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you lay for work. You know, you lay for church, or whatever it is. Let me go hop in the transformation chamber. It'll, it'll somehow put the clothes on me within 45 seconds. That is the discovery I'm trying to tell y'all for real. Questions we should have asked back in the day. I'm just saying, they got, we got away with a lot of stuff in the 90s. This don't make no, this don't make any bit of sense. That's right, baby. That's what I've been saying is like, Laura is, her. let's put it like this. Laura's heart is falling for Steve. Has, you know, fallen and I can't get up. It's, it's falling for Steve, you know. But, shall I say, her body hasn't. Her mind hasn't. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and Laura right now is looking for some romantic fire. You know what I'm saying? Because she has, she's grown in love with Steve, you know. But Steve does not do that for Laura right now. So, in walks Stefan. You know, uh, excuse me, the other, um, in walks him where he's kind of, where he has that, you know, he has the, the romantic fire that Laura's looking for. He has the presentation, you know, and so it brings on this, this physical attraction. And what's so interesting about it and so well written, shall I say, um, is it St Steve and, um, uh, Myra are the same thing as Laura and Stefan. It's a physical attraction. It's a physical, there's a physical attraction between Steve and Myra, more so Myra to Steve, but, but, but both of them. And I'm, I'm not saying that Steve's um, feelings have not gotten stronger for Myra, but mostly it's a physical attraction. That's how it was from jump, jump, jump start. Okay. And it's the same thing with Steve, with, um, with, um, 
Laura and Stefan. It's a physical attraction. That's all it is. So Laura has to finally get to a place and it's going to take her a while to get to a place to recognize what love is because Laura does not understand that. And Steve does. Laura does not understand that. Look, look, let's go back. I got it on right now. Let's go here. Laura doesn't understand. Look, that when you get it like that, when you get it like that, that's real love right there. You know what I'm saying? When you light up the world with your kiss, with your lips, girl. And she, she just has to understand that because if you really look at it, Stefan does a lot of talking, but Stefan, Laura don't, does not do the same to Stefan as he does, as, as she does Steve. She does not have the same effect on Stefan than she does Steve. I wonder if people peep game on that. She, he, she doesn't. She does not have the same effect. You know, Steve, she can just kiss Steve on the lip. Stefan will be like, oh, you, you kissed me on the lips and I felt the cloud and God came down. Some whack stuff that he's going to say, right? But Stephon, look, Laura don't rock Stefan's world like she, like she does Steve's with just the simplest of things. And these are things that, that Steve probably kind of knows and Laura has to figure out that you're not going to get electricity like this girl with anybody else but the art man. But Laura, got, she just has to learn. She has to understand, you know, and learn what love is, learn what's most important, you know, and that's why there are others, Laura's other and Steve's other, they're on the fast track. They trying to fa fast forward these things that Steve and Laura have been working at, you know, so yeah, man. Anyway, love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you.